Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. In the last video we managed to get ourselves into the... Oh my god, my screen is fuzzing up. The monster's nearby. We managed to get ourselves into the Theta Labs and uh, we're hanging out down here trying to avoid uh, Mr. Terry Akers as we find a way to get onto the elevator and down into the basement. We found the corpse of the actual IRL Brandon Wan, so we've met him in simulation and we've now met with his corpse in real life. So I opted to take the more risky route because I am playing in safe mode. I just decided, fuck it, I'll break the window and I'll just crawl my way through here and grab the chip that uh, Brandon was holding onto. So now I have to be careful not to run into the monster. Uh, if I do, it's not the end of the world, obviously. Again, playing in safe mode. Should be alright. But I'm still, still going to try and be careful if I can. I'm going to stay low. I'm going to stay crouched. And what we need to do is we need to find the room where we can use that chip. And I think I've just gone around in a circle, haven't I? And he's nearby as well. That's comforting. Alright, well I went around in a big circle. Okay, let's go left this time, I guess. Because we went down that hall. Uh, let's go down this hall. I guess. And be warned also that uh, he will hear you open doors. So, just a uh, friendly, by the way, reminder. Oh shit. Where are you, dude? Seriously. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. So, in theory, as long as I'm quiet... Nope, he's coming this way, isn't he? Fuck. Yep, no, he's coming for me. Maybe? No, he's going the other way. Yeah, as long as you're quiet, it's a little bit easier to get away from him. But I'm telling you guys, once he sees you, he is so incredibly fast. So you're going to have a very, very hard time getting away from him if he starts to chase after you. So right now, he's kind of got me blocked. And there isn't a lot that I can do, to be honest. I can try and hide myself in that room, but he'll hear me open the door and we've already been in there. So there's no reason for me to do that. Just kind of have to wait for him to go away, really. And you can take two hits from him. So one hit and he'll knock you down and he'll, you know, go away. And second hit, it will kill you. So I'm going to quickly open this door. Now this area is the conference room and there's not really a lot of point in coming in here because these slides don't really show anything. I don't know if this was like concept art that they couldn't like fit into the game elsewhere or if this are these are pictures of the wow. But obviously the the team members were having a discussion about these slides in particular. I think that this is probably the wow's effects on uh, human beings and other things. If I can get a little bit closer, I wonder if I can read that one slide. I'm kind of curious. Not this one. And he's coming for me. Hold on, I'm trying to read, Terry. Yeah, I can't read that. I wanted to read that, but I couldn't. Now he's... He's right outside the door. He's awfully close to me. But I'm not making a lot of noise. Nope, he's gonna come in here. So at this point, 
uh, you're kind of fucked. Really. Because... I can't run anywhere. I've boxed myself in completely. Unless he decides to just turn around and go the other way like he did there. Um, if you get yourself into that situation and you're not playing in safe mode, you're definitely, definitely going to take a hit. So my best, uh, I guess, strategies for avoiding him are A, stay low, stay crouched, stay quiet. And to not... Uh, get yourself boxed in for too long I think is also another good piece of advice because like like I said he's very fast and if he catches sight of you you're not going to be able to get away from him he runs just as fast as Simon if not faster which is kind of scary when you think about it I'm not sure what this room is but I don't really think it has anything all that interesting in it And you can also throw things to try and distract him, but I don't find that there's a lot of small items and materials to really throw around. There are a couple of healing spots in here too, though, so if you are finding yourself getting hit, then you do have a few areas uh, where you can heal. Okay, so we need to go to that office there that's all lit up. But I want to... Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. What's up? I'm just going to hide here. I want to go to the clinic. Because the clinic area is going to tell us a little bit about Mr. Akers. And it's kind of his original spawn point, so to speak. I think I can get there through the medical laboratory. So let's try and backtrack a little bit before we move forward because again I'm always interested in all the lore in each of these areas here so this clipboard or clipboard whiteboard has a little bit of information on on acres here so the gel consumption by acres has had reconstructive properties but it's had uh, unnatural growth and symbiotic attempts the team was going to meet downstairs in the shuttle so we kind of already gathered that by listening to the uh, uh, data buffers around this area. And this little thing here, this is the exact um, thing that was shown in a photograph. And I think the photo was in Mark Sarong's room back in the living quarters. He was taking pictures of things and trying to figure out uh, the WoW's uh, effects on them. So yeah, this is a, a, the exact uh, image that we had seen earlier. And I don't really know what that is, to be honest. Looks like a big mutated potato. I can hear you walking around out there, you jerk. Okay, so this is exactly where I want to be, actually. So... Apparently Terry does too, because he's around somewhere. Yep, see? Again, this is a situation. I'm really glad that he's blind, because I'd be fucked if he could see me. But I guess he didn't hear me, so... He left. Alright. So yeah, I want to be in here. I'm going to close these doors. That might trigger him to come back. But, anyways, um, if you hadn't broken the window, I do believe that this is the kind of aggro area that he starts to spawn in. Or at least when I played, that's what I noticed. I can't confirm that for sure. But I found that when I was just looking around the, the lab's area when I first came in here, it was all pretty innocent except for some ambient noise and, you know, some things trying to scare me. But until you come into the examination room and you discover, oh, shit, Acres is gone, uh, he won't really bother you. So, yeah, this is where the data team brought acres after he had come from delta and you have some scans that were done by the doctor here so he has infected fractures tibia is broken and 
fracture places have been connected by I can't read that connected by something can't read that his brain is being remotely controlled and this slide here says I wonder how much of him is even left in there so yeah the uh, structure gel that he had been consuming obviously took a huge toll on his humanity and it makes you wonder how much of it you know is still human I'm almost tempted just to take a hit so I don't have to worry about this guy lurking around. Because I couldn't figure it out before. Uh, I think I had gotten hit by an enemy once before. And I thought, oh, well, that's weird. I'm in safe mode. How come I can take damage? But I think the reasoning for that is because I'm playing in safe mode, it takes two hits to kill you uh, currently with the enemies that we've been facing. So I think what happens in safe mode and what I've been able to work out is that you can take damage, but you cannot be killed. So in theory, I think he can hit me once, but after that, he'll kind of bugger off and leave me alone. So if, if I dawdle too much, I might just run into him and let him damage me. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and listen to this tape here. Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reportedly found in his diving suit, unconscious, and in water. Akers has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. It's difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of it, and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat over exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think... So we kind of get the doctor's report there about what she thought was happening with Mr. Akers. Oh, come on, buddy. Listen, I've had about enough of you. Yeah, he's a royal pain in the ass. I, I, he, I don't find him too hard to deal with, really. Um, it's just kind of annoying because there's so many doors in this area. And... You know, if you want to explore everything, you can't, because he kind of gets in the way. Hold on. Hey, dumbass. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Ah, uh, knock me down. What a jerk. So yeah, uh, like I said, very, very fast. You could see there that he just lunged at me. Didn't even give a shit. Uh, so if my theory is correct, now I don't have to give a shit because I don't think he can hurt me anymore. Oh. Well, that's fucking rude. Come on, Terry. Don't be like that. Anywho, uh, across from the examination room here is the doctor's office. So this is uh, Nadine Masters. Now, I think we heard Amy mention Masters. She had said, if you find Masters, tell her that Amy needs help. And you can see here that Amy is uh, also one of these breathing skeleton half-dead people. Unfortunately. And now that uh, Akers should just leave us be, I can have a look at her computer in peace. And we can have a look at some of her files. So let's look at these in order, shall we? Let's start with Conrad. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to a pulp with the maser following the ARC Nero scan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself to take his place on the ARC. Terry? Are you going to kill me or not? Because I need, I need to know. 
All right, I need to know. Yeah, see. So yeah, my theory is correct then. Uh, yeah, so in safe mode, I guess you can still play like you'd be playing uh, normally if you want to like challenge yourself to not uh, get hit because I think that they will react and play like a normal monster until you get hit and then after that uh, before you die, then they just kind of, you know, do their own thing, so. Anyways, he can shriek all he wants. I got some important reading to do. So obviously we knew about Conrad. We figured that out by listening to some of the tapes in uh, Theta. There was a data buffer where Catherine was calling for Strasky's help after Conrad basically fried his brains while he was in the pilot seat. Ooh, and we have a file on Catherine. Very juicy. All right. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Strohmeyer demands another evaluation. Chun isn't obstinate or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character. Oh, ouch, that stings. The perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She's a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. I don't know, man. That doesn't sound like the Catherine that we know. I mean, obviously, by some of the reactions that she's had in dealing with Simon, I think you could maybe argue that she's uh, definitely... Uh, not the speaking type. I think that the she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided observation is very correct, but I don't know that she's weak in character. She seems strong enough, but again, the Catherine that we know is a very, very early scan of her. We have one for Vanessa Hart on the 20th of December. Heart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. And then finally, Mr. Akers on the 16th of January. One of the worst cases I've seen and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structure gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma did make me think of Hart's observed story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that the WoW is somehow able to change and rebuild the... blank. So, I think what happened with uh, Masters here is she came in to type her report up after examining uh, Terry. He reanimated or woke up or whatever it is that the WoW does. Uh, he probably forced her to consume some structure gel which would have kept her alive because most people excuse me most people who are connected by the wow you know are, are breathing and alive such as amy but uh this lady and other people are alive uh but she's not connected to anything so I, th that's my theory anyway as to how these people are still alive and breathing is that the uh, structure gel somehow keeps them intact. So in any case, uh, that's I think that's pretty much all there is to explore. We've kind of come full circle here. So I'm going to go back to that room that I was supposed to go into. If I can remember how to get there, that is. Also, what's this room? Did I go in here? Casing. Yes, I was in here. This place is so confusing. Like I said, I get just completely mixed up and turned around all the time when I'm going through here. It's so annoying. Aha! This is where I want to go. I want to go into security. So we're going into Strohmeyer's office now. And, oh my god, there's so much story and lore and stuff in this place, so I, I think I'm gonna have to call it here, guys, and we're gonna have to explore uh, Strohmeyer's office 
in the next video and trust me we will be finishing off next time we'll be getting down the elevator and moving on to a new part i promise i know i've been dilly dallying a little bit but this game story is just so interesting and there's so much to see and so much to to listen to you know so all right acres and myself will uh See you guys in the next video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and uh, we hope that we will see you next time.